Jimmy O here from Joe Blow, and today I'm taking a look at Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Yes, the long-awaited sequel to Black Panther is finally here on the 11th. Now, when Black Panther first arrived in theaters, the MCU hit garnered critical and audience praise. It was a massive success that ultimately led to several Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture, and a few wins. It was easy to see that Chadwick Boseman was embarking on a very successful run as T'Challa, the Black Panther. Sadly, a tragedy took this incredible talent away from us too early. How do you continue as a franchise after that kind of loss? If you want to present a brilliantly executed, emotional, thrilling, and powerful continuation, you can always follow the example of Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Not only is it an excellent sequel to the first, but it's also a loving tribute. There's been a disturbance in Wakanda. It's left this magical place without its protector and without the Black Panther. Shuri, Letitia Wright, and her mother, Queen Ramonda, Angela Bassett, must find a way to protect the sacred homeland. As I struggle with grief and the looming threat of other world leaders, they must find a way to defend their natural resource, vibranium. Yet, when a seemingly understanding representative arrives, revealing secrets about his connection to the precious metal, they discover that unexpected dangers may come to their very home. It is up to Shuri, Ramonda, and those loyal to them to save Wakanda from greed, chaos, and destruction. Talking about the story behind Wakanda Forever is a difficult task. There remain apparent spoilers for most fans. Instead of talking openly about the roles the actors play and how the story unfolds, I wanted to focus on how the film brings an emotional depth to this incredible tale. The opening sequence here, it's sublime. Ryan Coogler successfully brings the audience back into the world, but he also creates one of the most inspired tributes I've ever seen for a character. Even the Marvel logo at the beginning will bring you a tear and a smile. As the performances go, Letitia Wright, Angela Bassett, Denai Guerrero, Lupita Nyong'o, and Florence Kajumba bring the fire. It's a marvelous ensemble. But Wright and Bassett are a force of nature. The two bring depth and gravitas to their exceptional performances. It's fantastic to see Letitia's work here, as well as her outstanding work in this year's excellent The Silent Twins. She has a chance in Wakanda Forever to really grow, and it's a delight to watch. As well, Martin Freeman returns as Everett K. Ross, and he brings the humor effortlessly. Tainich Huerta also creates an exciting mix of humanity with a little bit of vengeance in his take on Namor. Aside from the surprisingly rich character work, Wakanda Forever is visually stunning. From the wonders of Wakanda to the world in which Namor rules, Kugler and his team paint a wonderful canvas. The effects are awe-inspiring and perhaps a slight improvement over the first film. It's just as much about the script by Kugler and Joe Robert Cole that magnificently continues a story, one that was beyond challenging to conquer. Wakanda is a rich, bold, and epic feature film that easily ranks as one of the best chapters in MCU history. Not simply as a great sequel, but as a fantastic feature on its own. As great as the performances, story, and production are, it also helps that the score is as powerful as the story it accompanies. Ludwig Göransson's stunning composition creates a moody and compelling score that fits perfectly into Kugler's vision. Rihanna also returns to music with a couple of incredible tracks, and you may have already heard Lift Me Up, which is sure to earn Academy Award attention. The sound and vision of Wakanda Forever is so impressive that it's easy to forgive the nearly 2 hour and 45 minute runtime. It also helps that the mid credit scene is a sweet and memorable moment, one you probably won't forget. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is perhaps one of my favorite films in the MCU, and it's undoubtedly one of the, my favorite films this year. Instead of following the same obvious pattern, the filmmakers welcome the challenge with sincerity and inspiration. Wakanda is more than just a great sequel. It is one of the most heartfelt and moving tributes to an actor I've had the pleasure to witness. Emotionally moving, yet the adventure and heart are entirely on display. Ryan Coogler has crafted an exceptional and exciting new film for Marvel, so much so that I cannot wait to see where their story takes us 
for the next installment. Until then, I have to give Black Panther Wakanda Forever a 10 out of 10. I absolutely love this movie. You may not love as me, but I hope you dig it. And if you want to see more news, reviews, interviews, check out our channel at joeblow.com. Thanks for listening.